Today we're learning how to make this nice artwork in PowerPoint. Let's start from a clean white slide, format a background and make it blue. Next we go for a free shape and we're going to create just any random shape that you want with some rounded corners to create the puddle effect. Let's make it darker, remove the outline and then go for a shadow effect. So click on the shadow and inner shadow. Let's format it, so right click format and play with the shadow settings, the blur and transparency and the angle a little bit. It's nice if it comes from the top left. Duplicate the part and reduce the size. It doesn't have to be the exact same shape, it just have to fit inside of the existing shape that we had. And let's make this one a little bit darker. So every step downwards, we're going to make it darker. And we do that a few times, so I'll speed up this process. Until we have about five, six layers of depth. I'm going to make the shadows a little bit more intense. That looks nice. Now let's create the fish, so free shape again make it orange and let's also create the fin from a triangle and edit the corners so they're a little bit rounded make sure it fits nicely and do the same for the side fins start with a triangle and rounded corners they match perfectly on the side copy it flip it over for the other side now we group all the elements together and we're gonna merge the shapes and now we have a nice fish. Let's make it a bit darker and also add a gradient effect to it. It always looks a bit nicer. Now we have the same light effect coming in from the top left. Go for a shadow, add a drop shadow to the fish. Increase the distance by quite a lot and the blur. So it looks like the fish is actually swimming in very clear water. Now let's alt drag or option drag the fish. Maybe right click or flip it horizontally and increase or decrease the sizes as you like. Spread them across the pond. And maybe also make the bottom fish a little bit darker to make it more realistic. Let's add some greens. So let's add a circle for some leaves that are floating on the water. And add a gradient green to it. Now take a triangle and subtract that part of the circle. Drop shadow, same effect and alt or option drag and create some variance in different sizes. Maybe also on the other side of the pool. Perfect. And for the background, let's maybe do a gradient from a little lighter blue. Next we're going to add some circles on the water, so circles with just white outlines, and we're going to create a smaller circle inside of it. Play around with transparency and also the stretch style which is going to be a little bit waved. And once we're happy we're going to duplicate it in different sizes across the screen. That looks nice, let's preview. Hope you like the tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe and hope to see you next time.